Good morning viewers. Today, 19th November 2020, we are going to study plant responses. Your teacher is Dr. Bosa Science. I'm requesting you to subscribe to promote my videos. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here you find notes, exams, and their marking guides in physics, chemistry, biology, and PLOE. Or visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda. Here you find related videos in physics, chemistry, and biology. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. Plus 256-753-8-2709. The best primary school in Uganda is local of ages primary school. Plus 256 Seven seven two eight four nine one zero six. Coordination is a process of linking up processes in the body of an organism to make them work in an organized manner. Plant responses are coordinated by hormones and include tropism. Tactic movements, nastic movements, and flowering response to the length. Coordination is a process of linking up processes in the body of an organism to make them work in an organized manner. Plant responses are coordinated by hormones and include 1. Tropism 2. Tactic movements 3. Nastic movements and 4. Flowering response to the length Tropism was a growth responses towards a directional stimulus Growth towards a stimulus is called a positive response while growth away from a stimulus is called a negative response. Tropisms are classified according to the type of stimulus and they include one phototropism light, hydrotropism water, geotropism gravity. Pigmotropism, touch. Chemotropism, chemical. Phototropism is a growth response towards light from one direction. Shoots grow towards light and are positively phototropic. While most roots do not respond to light. Experiment to demonstrate the effect of light on the growth of a shoot. Two potted plants of the same species and egg are placed each in a black box having a hole on one side to allow in light. One box containing a plant is left on the floor while another is placed on a stand. The experiment is left for three days. Observation. The plant on the stand grew straight while the other bent towards light. Explanation. The plant on the stand grew straight because it had uniform exposure to light. A gino stand is an instrument which rotates slowly. 
the other bent towards right because it is civil light from one direction and it is phototropic. Importance of phototropism allows a plant to grow towards and receive enough light for photosynthesis. Tactic response is, is the movement of entire cell or organism in bracket locomotion in response to a directional external stimulus. Tactic response can be positive towards or negative away from a stimulus. They include one phototaxis light two aerotaxis oxygen three biotaxis pressure four chemotaxis chemical five gravitaxis gravity six hydrotaxis water Nastic responses a nastic response is a non-direction movement of part of the plant in response to external stimulus. For example, closure of flowers at night. For kinesis, this is a locomotory response, more common in animals. Plant hormones. These are chemical substances that control coordination in the plants. The first hormone is oxygenes. Oxygenes is a group of plant hormones that regulate growth in the plant. An example is indoro acetic acid. Oxygenes are produced at the shoot and root tips and concentrate on the side opposite the stimulus. In the stems, high concentration of oxygenes stimulate growth, while high concentration of oxygenes inhibit growth in the roots as shown in the graph below. The following experiments carried out by Charles Darwin and his son Francis confirms that growth towards light is controlled by tips of grass cryoptyle because cryoptyles bend towards in a direction light but when the tips were cut off or were covered with light impermeable caps, they did not turn towards unidirectional light. Role of oxygen is one, stimulate cell elongation in the stems, but inhibits cell elongation in the roots. Two, stimulate cell division in the cambium and cell division in the tissue culture in the presence of cytokinin. Three, stimulate differentiation of phloem and xylem. Four, stimulate root initiation on stem cutting and lateral root development in the tissue culture. Five, mediate phototropism, six, surplus growth of lateral buds on stem, seven, delay leaf senescence, eight, delay fruit ripening, nine, promote flowering in some plants, ten, stimulates production of is seen. B. Gibberellin is another class of growth promoter 
with the following rollers. One, promotes stem and root elongation. Two, stimulates growth of side branches from lateral buds. Three, breaks seed domains. Four, promotes flowering. Five, promotes parthenocarpy. Development of fruits without fertilization. Six, delays senescence. See, another hormone is cytokinin, promotes cell division, promotes morphogenesis, three, promotes development of lateral roots, four, delays senescence, five, promotes stomata opening. D. Alcistic acid. It is a major inhibitor and antagonistic to growth promoters. Maintains cedidomas, cause stomata closure, cause cedidomas, promotes leaf and fruit fall. E. Effin. One. Promotes ripening of fruits. Two. Promotes wound healing. Three. Promotes etiolation in the plants. Four. Promotes formation of enchima in floating plants. Five. Promotes leaf and fruit falling. Phytochrome, an effect of light on plants. Phytochrome system is a system in plants that regulates flowering, seed germination, and so on, based on the day length. All light and darker duration is of the day. The photoreceptor Phytochrome has two interconvertible forms, PFR active form and PR inactive form. PR absorbs red light during the day and converts into PFR, while PFR absorbs far red light in the dark and converts to PR. Thus, PFR predominates during day and PR during night. The control of flowering periodism. Photoperiodism is a response of an organism to day length. All period of light and the darkness of the day. Experiments have indicated that periodic control of flowering is achieved through phytochrome system. On the basis of flowering response, to photoperiods. Plants are divided into three groups. The control of flowering periodism. Photoperiodism is a response in an organism to day length. All period of light and darkness of the day. Experiments have indicated that photoperiodic control of flowering is achieved through phytochrome system. On the basis of flowering response to photoperiods, plants are divided into three groups. One short day 
plants. This flower, when a period of uninterrupted darkness is more than a certain length each day. They are prevented from flowering if this period of darkness is interrupted by flashes of light. On the basis of phytochrome system, flowering of short day plants is promoted by PR, that is synthesized at night. PFR suppresses flowering. One, one short day plants. This flower, when a period of uninterrupted darkness is more than a certain length each day. They are prevented from flowering if this period of darkness is interrupted by flashes of light. On the basis of phytochrome system, flowering of short day plants is promoted by PR, that is synthesized at night. PFR suppresses flowering. Two long day plants, for example, spinach. This flower, when the period of uninterrupted darkness is less than a certain length each day, or when the period of darkness is shorter than the period of light. Flowering in longer day plants is thus promoted by PFR, which is synthesized during day. Three, the neutral plants. These are not affected by the length of the day and therefore are not sensitive to PR or PFR. Venalization and flowering. Venalization is induction of a plant to flower on exposure to prolong the period of cold or winter. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Please find notes, exams, and their marking guides in physics, chemistry, biology, primary science, and primary math. Or visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda. When you go to YouTube website, where there is search, type in Digital Teachers Uganda. It will be given categories of videos in physics, chemistry, biology, and math. Please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College plus 256-7580-2709. The best primary school in Uganda is Local of Ages Primary School plus 256-7720. Nine one zero six. <laughs>